Now, here's the thing, though. I don't want you to be confused because I think when we talk about righteousness, it's easy to get confused. And so when Paul is talking about righteousness, he is not talking about self-righteousness, which is not righteousness at all, actually. Unfortunately, many Christians put this make-believe, pretend breastplate on of self-righteousness, thinking that their own character is what is the best judge of all things. Or legalistic behavior and accomplishments. In other words, many people will think, well, I'm doing all the right things. I'm checking all the boxes. I prayed today. I read my Bible today. I was nice to the person at the gas station today. I was all these things. I did all these things. I'm good to go. This is why we get so many people always saying, well, they were such a good person. They checked all the boxes. But guess what? Being a good person is not how we are justified with God. It's just not. It's something easier than that, really, and beyond that. Not that we're not supposed to walk in it. That's what righteousness is about. But when it's a self-righteousness, this is what Jesus was constantly fighting after. The religious leaders at his time, they did all the check boxes right. They had all the things that they were supposed to do. Check, 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 check. But it wasn't because they loved God. They wanted to do it so people would think they were awesome. Or that they thought they would get justified if they just did the right tasks. But they didn't do it out of a love for God. Doing all the things without a love for God is just self-righteousness. It's legalistic. And so the question is, are we willing to do what God calls us to do out of a love for him? That's what defeats the self-righteousness. But self-righteousness, if we allow it to get a hold of us and it works within us, it gives Satan a weapon to destroy us from the inside out. 